Welcome, welcome, welcome back everyone to Driven. As always, I'm Libby O'Leary. I hope everyone is finishing their school year off strong and is going to have a great and restful summer. Joining me today, I have a very important and special guest, Miss Boshoff. Hi, Ms. Boshaw. Hello, Libby. How are you? Doing great. So, I mean, I just got to talk about the thing that's been really exciting and important, winning the number one magnet school in the nation. Tell us a little bit number about Number one. That. All we do is win. All we do is Okay, so yeah. I'm not going to sing that. No, yeah. We were thinking about shirts with the back. Um, all we do is win. <laughs> number one, um, number one. Or maybe just all we do is win, and they stay there with some hands up. <laughs> uh, no, so it's been a really exciting year. Uh, number one magnet school in America. Um, truly a testament to the work that everyone in the building is doing and the amazing students we have. Um, I was honored to get to go to New York with uh, Ms. Hartenstein and Ms. Luna um, to accept that award on behalf of the drive and we're happy to bring it back here. Um, and we've already gotten a lot of really good press. Oh, yeah. um, so it's been really, really exciting. Yeah, that was yeah. really awesome when um, all the news outlets were here yeah. and filming us walking out of school. That was really cool. Yeah, they, they called me on Sunday and they're like, hey, we need a pep rally. And I'm like, whoa, pep rally in less than 24 hours. So usually those take a lot more time to plan, but there we, we, go, we pulled it off. Um, what role do you think athletics played in all the, you know, the athletic department, all the athletes played in? So I think one of the cool things about our Magnet Award um, and looking at a lot of the schools who won awards is that they are very specialized small schools. And Athens Drive is one of the only schools who has won the top award that is a comprehensive high school. And wow. so I think one of the best things about Athens Drive is a holistic student experience oh, and how yeah. here you can really, you can't do all the things, but you can really do anything. Yeah. Uh, and so I think for us, athletics is huge in that it combines with our theme, which is, um, you know, about global health um, and individual health. Yeah. And so in that way, but it also just is another outlet for our students to excel and be a part of the Athens Drive community. Yeah. Were you an athlete in high school? I was an athlete in high school. I also tried to do all the things in high school. So I played soccer. I played tennis for a bit, there swam for a bit, and also was in theater a bunch. So there I go. tried to do all the things. Was it, do you remember like how it was to be a student athlete? Did you difficult uh, to balance it all? I mean, it seems like you did a yeah, lot. Yeah, so I think, you know, that's one of the things I respect about a lot of the students here is you're trying to balance, you know, being involved in student government, key club, yeah. being an athlete. And people don't realize how long the practice is for that take. So three hours a day and then coming home, trying to do homework, getting ready oh, it's a lot. Um, for everything. And then you make it to the playoffs at the time that like AP exams start happening. Oh my so God, yeah, I know. Um, just trying to balance all of that. But yes, it gives me a good perspective on what a lot of our student athletes are juggling throughout the year at different yeah. seasons. Right. Yeah. I see you at a lot of sports games. What's your favorite? Do you, now, don't have to say your favorite, but what's it like? A sport you enjoy watching from Athens? So this year I've really enjoyed watching all of them and I've tried to make it to as many as I possibly can so I've been here a few nights a week at least um, and I wouldn't say that I have a favorite it's really cool to watch different teams compete I ha there are some that I've learned more about because I hadn't been to many like stunt competitions before yeah, so there we go. <laughs> now I feel like I'm on the side being like a stunt judge and I'm like I almost can know what's about to <laughs> oh, happen she fell she fell yes yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's been really fun watching just like competitive spirit we've had a lot of success this year in sports um, yeah, we so have. that's been really fun to watch and uh, flag football was really fun to watch the inaugural year of that um, so really excited about, you know, next year and what that holds. And yeah. I think we're set up really well for uh, the next next while. I yeah. agree. I think sports, sports is to me is what I was most excited for coming in um, to my freshman year because both of my brothers um, went here, went to Athens, and they were both on the soccer team. So I grew nice. up, you know, kind of being dragged along to all the high school yeah. soccer games. And just seeing, you know, how close um, the teams were and all the fans cheering, like, it's just a really fun environment, and I think it's a really special. Yeah, special and thing. it's for sure as we're welcoming our rising freshmen in, we've got about 625 freshmen coming to the drive next year. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so one of the things we're really promoting for them is getting involved in those August workouts and practices, and it's so cool to come into school, starting high school, and you already know a core group of um, people. Oh, yeah. Um, so can't stress enough how important it is, you know, whether it's marching band or athletics or whatever, you're just trying to get everybody plugged into something. Yeah, and as you were saying before, I think Athens is just such a special school because there's a little bit of everything. Like, yeah. there's something for everyone, whether, you know, you want to be in band or you want to be 
um, on a sports team, yeah, being sure. a special club, got the guitar club. Yep, yep. Yep, very fun. Um, so what do you think, as you've been here for a year, what do you think you've seen Athens, like, makes it such a standout special school? I think one of the things that makes Athens a standout school is the student body and the faculty here. I think that um, everybody really comes here uh, to be engaged in some way, whether that's academically in the classroom and athletics and the arts. Um, but there's something for everyone. We've got a huge level of diversity. Over 40 languages are represented at Athens oh, Drive. Yeah. And so it's been really cool to see this cross-section of, I think, the globe at Athens Drive um, and how tolerant people are and work together. Um, no matter what's going on outside of school, I feel like we've got this really solid community and we've accomplished a ton this year. So oh, yeah. really excited about it's that. It's definitely a community here um, feel being yeah, here, for being sure. a student at Athens. And I think it's really cool with um, the academies that we have here. You know, coming in and if you join an academy making, you know, it kind of makes a big school small. Right, and Athens right. is a very large school. So I think having, you know, the opportunity to join the STEM Academy or the Health Science Academy, you really can kind of make a big school small. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But having a big school is really cool with the diversity elements, getting to meet, you know, all kinds of different people. Yeah, because really the bigger your school is, the more opportunities there are going to yeah. be and the more diversity there can be in the course offerings and the arts and yeah. you know we've been really working over the past as we're growing um, and for the first time this year maybe because of some of the accolades we filled our magnet seats and so for the first year it's like every seat is full um, off of the application list and so that gives us the opportunity to maybe add positions and so looking at in the future maybe adding dance programming or yeah. adding other CTE courses um, which is really exciting because it gets people prepared for maybe what they want to do after high school, um, but also it gives people a chance to get involved in different things while they're here. Yeah, so with winning, I mean, huge award, number one <clears throat> in the nation, number one, number one um, <laughs> what are we going to get from that? Is just Well, what do we get? <laughs> we get this, uh, you know, knowing that we are number one, exactly. so that's good. We can ride that for a while. Um, no <laughs> one wins twice, so we, we've hit the top award. Exactly. Um, it's kind of tough. It's my first year. I'm like, man, I don't know what else is next <laughs> next year. Uh, so that's been tough. Yeah, but we, we also a got a check for $5,000 um, that we can put back into opportunities for students and the student body that we haven't decided how we're going to spend yet. Um, it also gets us just, I think Athens is like this hidden gem because we don't have this name, you know, that's, um, like a city, like a Garner or a Roll, you know, it's hey, like yeah. we're kind of tucked back in here and not yeah. a lot of people know about it, but I think it's given us some really solid notoriety um, and given us like, you know, we've got some more street cred with, uh, you know, the things that are going on here. 100%. I've got people reaching out to me from Las Vegas and Dallas and they're like, wow. hey, can we come tour your school next year? And I'm like, bring it, let's go. Let's so, go. Here yeah, we go. it's awesome. So a little birdie has told me that Athens might be getting some renovations Ooh, yeah. in the future. Um, do we think that the athletic facilities will also be um, renovated yeah, with that? So, yeah, so we're really lucky um, that we have our old stadium, Williams, um, yeah. which is where our track is now. And some of the renovations uh, that are slated in the plans that we've gotten currently from the architects have a new track going into Jag Stadium and also making the field that is between the baseball field and the tennis courts yep. a full-size practice field. Oh, that's um, awesome. So I know there's still a lot of work to be done with the planning, and I'm kind of so far confused about where the rest of the track events are going to go because we're a little tight on space. But I'm sure they're going to figure it out. Um, yeah. But I think, and the other huge upgrade that will come in the renovation is a brand new gym. So new Ooh. aux gym and new gym. Um, which will be huge, and they're, they're looking at making it bigger, so when we're at basketball games, we won't be right on the line. <laughs> and they kind of have to, like, <laughs> shuffle to the student section. Right, right. So it'll be a bit of crowd control, maybe, um, but definitely looking at, and in addition to those spaces, new cafeteria, new auditorium. Wow. So pretty exciting. Um, the things that will be happening in the next few years. But That's we're really staying exciting. here. We're staying here. Good. So we'll be here during the whole time the renovations are oh, happening. Oh, good, because I definitely heard that there was something that we would have yeah. to, like, We're not the moving. whole body would move. Um, and so they're looking at doing it in stages, and one of the first things they're going to do is put up a brand new building with a parking deck. Wow. Um, and get rid of all the mods and the uh, learning cottages out back. I okay. like to call them the learning cottages. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the gym. Now, Ms. Boshov, you worked as an assistant principal at Cary yes. before. Yes, yes. And now you work at Athens. Yes, so yes. So you've been on both sides of the rivalry. Sorry, can't speak. Rivalry. 
Now yes. tell us. I've been on both sides of that beat carry shirt now for sure. <laughs> I'm like on the front and the back. So, um, but we can we but we can we can say. Yeah, we can say we're always going to beat carry now, right? Oh, 100 yes. percent. Um, Adam's on top. No, for sure. Um, I loved my time at Cary High, and I've, I also was at Garner High for a while as a teacher. I loved every school I've ever worked at, but there is just something really special about Athens Drive. So the, they may have the number one weird oldest mascot, but we have like the number one school, <laughs> right? Yeah, number one school. Yeah. So yeah. very excited about very that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for talking about how just amazing our school is. It it's really awesome. Is. Go Jags. Number one. Number one. <laughs> um, I want to give a special shout out to all of our teams that made it to the playoffs. You guys all did so good and your hard work definitely played off. And I also want to give a special shout out to all the players who made all conference for their respected sports. Well, that's all we have for today. Catch you next time on Driven.